Hello students, today we are going to calculate one important numerical based on RLC series circuit. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay. So in the previous video, already we have discussed about the series RLC circuit, which type of equations are there, different different two cases. So whatever equations are there that we will apply over here to solve this numerical which is written on the board. So in the numerical, this type of circuit diagram is given in which 3 ohm of resistor, 0.6 Henry of inductor and 500 microfarad of capacitor are connected in series with one alternating source from which current is flowing in the clockwise direction having the equation of 10 sin 100 into T. Okay. Now total 6 questions are there that we have to calculate. First one is inductive reactance, capacitive reactance, impedance, phase angle, maximum voltage and equation of voltage. So one by one we will solve this. So first we will calculate number one over here I will write that is your inductive reactance. And you know very well inductive reactance is denoted by XL and equation of XL was what? It is your omega L. Now value of omega angular frequency is not given. So what we will do? Whatever current equation is given, that equation we will compare with standard equation that we know very well which is I is equals to I am sine of omega T. So over here value of I am is how much? 10. So I will write over here I am is equals to 10 ampere. Then uh, value of omega is how much? That is your 100. So omega is equals to 100 uh, radian per second. Okay. Now, we will put the value of omega. Omega is how much? 100 and uh, inductance is given. It is 0 0.16 Henry. So, 100 multiply with that is your 16 divided by 100. 100, 100 will get cancelled. So, reactive inductance is how much? 16 and it is one type of resistance. That's why its equation is ohm. So, that will be our first answer. Okay. Moving with next. Next is what? Capacitive reactance. Now, capacitive reactance is denoted by Xc. Its equation, if you have remembered, 1 upon omega C. Okay, 1 upon omega is how much? 100. And capacitance is how much? 500 microfarad. So, over here I will write capacitance is equal to 500 microfarad. And we want in farad. So, 500 into 10 raised to minus 6 farad. So same value I will write over here. So 500 into 10 raised to minus 6 which is equals to what 7 that uh, 4 zeros will get cancelled. So over here minus 2 minus 2 means uh, plus 2. So about 100 divided by 5. So that will cut with 20. So Xc will be 20. Again that is reactance. Reactance is what? Reactance is one type of resistance. So it will be in ohm. Okay. So that will be your answer number 2. Okay. Move on with the next. Next is what? Third one. Okay. Impedance. So, before calculating the impedance, uh, little bit thing we have to recall. Which one? That uh, if you have remembered, in uh, series RLC circuit, we have drawn one diagram. Which one? So, first I have drawn like this. That is what? That is your uh, uh, Vm of R. That is your I and we are saying for pure resistive circuit current is in phase with potential. Okay. Then uh, we have drawn Vm of uh, C. We are saying that in pure capacitive circuit uh, uh, current uh, leads the potential by pi by 2. Then we have drawn this type of thing which is Vm of uh, L. That means in the case of pure inductive circuit potential leads the current by I. And over here lags behind the current by I. Okay. Now from that we have discussed one more graph. Which is your this type of diagram. If you have remembered that is your R. Vm of R. That is your Vm of L means XL. And that will be your Vm of C means XC. Okay. Now after that we have discussed two cases. If you have remembered which one. XL is greater than XC. Then resultant will be upward. And if next case Xc is greater than Xl, over here from Xl and Xc, what we can say? Xc is greater than Xl. And if Xc is greater than Xl, this value is larger than this. So if you do the minus, do the minus, so what's happen? You will get 
resultant in the downward direction and that vector represents what x c minus x l value okay and we want to find out what we want to find out the impedance value which is z and that is your angle phi okay same way over here we can draw that is your uh, vm of r current in phase downward side what we can say xc minus xl vmc minus so over here i will write vm of c minus vm of l and uh, we have to find out what we have to find out the resultant potential which is maximum you can say and over here some phase is there which is phi now third question is what that what I have drawn because after onwards we whatever questions are there that question you can solve by drawing this diagram only that's why okay third is what impedance impedance means z so if I want to find out the value of z so over here I will draw one line that line represents what it will represent xc minus xl so that is 90 degree we will apply pythagoras z equals to what underscore root of r square plus xc minus xl whole square so i will write impedance z is equals to pythagoras r square plus xc minus xl whole square so z is equals to square root of r value is given yes it is 3 ohm so 3 square plus xc is calculated 20 minus xl is 16 whole square then z is equals to under square root of that is 9 that is 4 so 16 so under square root of 25 so impedance means total resistance ohms is unit so 5 ohm so that is your answer number 3 okay now we will calculate further which is phase angle number 4 phase angle means 5 from the same diagram if you want to find out the value of 5 then what you can say you will write tan phi tan phi is equals to what tan phi is perpendicular by base perpendicular is what xc minus xl base is what r xc is how much x is 20 minus uh, xl is 16 divided by r is how much 3 so tan phi is equals to that is your uh, 4 by 3 so uh, i will write the value of phi so phi is equals to tan inverse 4 by 3 and tan inverse 4 by 3 value is very much famous. We have remembered one diagram in previous lecture. Which one? That is your 4, 3 and 5. That angle is 53 degree. From that triangle we can say tan 53 degree is equals to what? It is your perpendicular by base. So 4 by 3. So 53 degree is equals to tan inverse of 4 by 3. So tan inverse of 4 by 3 is equals to 5 and 5 is equals to what? 53 degree. So I will write 5 value is 53 degree. That is the answer of phase. Okay. Moving with next. Fifth one. Fifth one is which one? You have to find out the maximum voltage. So for that purpose you will apply Ohm's law. Ohm's law is what? V is equals to I r maximum voltage you want so it will be your vm and the current will be im r is constant now over here we cannot write r why because over here different different devices having different different resistance so that's why if you will add all the resistances then it is known as impedance so instead of r we will write z because the unit of z is also ohm we have just like resistance which is total resistance okay now it would be easy Vm is equal to value of Im is 10 ampere and value of Z we have calculated which is 5. So maximum potential will be 15 volt. Okay. Now moving with the last equation of voltage. Okay. Now we have the equation of current which is in the form of what I is equal to that is your 6 1. I is equal to uh, 10 means Im sin 100 means omega T. So we have the current equation and from that we have to find out the voltage equation okay so voltage equation how we can write okay. so voltage equation if you want to write so you know very well voltage is vm of sine of omega t if you will write like this that means it becomes pure resistive circuit that means current and potential are in phase with each other okay but that is not pure resistive circuit some uh, phase difference is that okay so for that purpose we will observe this graph over here what we can say that uh, whatever potential is there that potential lags behind the current by 5 or you can say 
करंट लीड द पोटेंशियल बाय फाइव ओके एस पोटेंशियल लेक्स बिहाइंड द करंट सो आई विल राइट ओमेगा टी माइनस फाइव Y माइनस फाइव पोटेंशियल करंट से कहा चल रहा है पीछे चल रहा है पीछे मीन्स माइनस कितना पीछे मीन्स फाइव सो ओमेगा टी माइनस फाइव ओके नाउ V इज इक्वल टू वी एम वी एम इज फिफ्टी साइन ऑफ ओमेगा इज हाउ मच हंड्रेड सो ओमेगा टी माइनस फेज एंगल इज हाउ मच फिफ्टी थ्री डिग्री दैट इज योर फिफ्टी थ्री डिग्री सो दैट इज योर फाइनल इक्वेशन इन वोल्ड दैट इज योर आंसर नंबर Six. So I hope you are able to understand this numerical properly. Now I would like to end this video. So till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.